Hello, Chris. Hello. I'm Jody. I'm from Australia. Um, where are you from? So I'm from uh, Tacoma, Washington. That's about a half hour uh, south of Seattle. And what do you do with yourself um, uh, for work? And how did you get into low carb or ketogenic diets? Yeah, I work as a hospitalist. That's a specialist in hospital medicine, uh, basically internal medicine in the hospital setting only. Uh, so I don't have a separate established outpatient practice. Um, basically when a patient gets admitted to the hospital, uh, they get admitted to my service um, and uh, basically manage their, their medical care from the time of admission to the time of discharge. Um, how did I get into low carb? So, so I've been working as a hospitalist for almost 11 years now and at one point I was involved in this emerging leaders program where one of the requirements was uh, doing a performance improvement project. Um, I struggled with finding a topic of interest and decided, all right, I'm going to pay attention to what bothers me um, in the hospital. What, what, do I, what do I encounter that, that doesn't make sense, that's something that needs to be improved? And this, this one day I was reviewing a diabetic patient's labs in the morning before going to see the patient and the glucoses were all over the map, 200s, 300s. Uh, the, I don't recall the specifics of, of the, the admission, um, but I walked into the uh, patient's room and, uh, and he was just polishing off a, a plate with a giant waffle with syrup and uh, fruit and orange juice. And, uh, and it hit me right there, like, what are we doing? So that's what the hospital served up? For? Correct, correct. Wow. And, uh, you know, not picking on the hospital in it, uh, itself, but that's basically the standard in, yep. in U.S. hospitals, and it sounds like worldwide as well. Yep. Um, they were allowed 60 grams of carbohydrates per meal. Wow. Uh, you know, three meals per day plus snacks in addition to that. And, uh, and clearly we were having difficulty controlling glucoses um, yeah. with, that, with that barrier. Um, and so, so that moment set me off onto this investigation as to why we're doing it this way and how it could be done better. So were you doing a low carb diet yourself prior to that point? At that point, no. Wow. Um, now I had experimented with low carb previously as far as just improving body composition, as, you know, learning about the um, bodybuilding community and their mm. use of low carb. So I, I had experience with it. I knew it worked for weight loss. Of course, I was aware of the Atkins movement, um, yeah. and uh, but up to that point, I had that fear of fat that, that people uh, have with with yeah. the low carb, high fat uh, diet, and uh, and so as I as I started re reading more and more about it, um, I I realized like this is not just for my diabetic patients. This is this is for me. This is for well, the the general population, um, and uh, and started started off into a, a bunch of research and then working on incorporating it into the into my hospital practice. So how have you done that? Has the hospital been receptive to your information? Yes and no. <laughs> yeah. um, it took a lot of work to get stakeholders uh, on board. Mm. Um, there was meetings with administration, the, the nutrition uh, services department, um, and uh, and so, so mind you, as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm trying to, I have a deadline because I need to do this performance improvement project um, and I need some, uh, some form of results. Like an outcome. Correct, yeah. correct, in order to you know, get to the poster presentation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, and there, there were a lot of uh, roadblocks along the way, um, a lot of um, disapproval from from nutritionists, uh, dietitians, yeah. uh, especially. Do you have those within your hospital, like specialist nutritionists and yes. dietitians? Yes. Yes. And have they? Are any of them um, receptive? Um, to some degree, um, there was there was one or two that that accepted the fact that yes, carbohydrate restriction does help with glucose control, but none of them really got on board to mm. fully support it. Um, the, it. It took a lot of work to just get baby steps, and, and so one of my big steps was just creating a, 
option, an option in the electronic medical record for a 45 gram carbohydrate restriction per meal rather than the default 60 grams, which is, which is a big deal in the electronic medical record because if you enter a diabetic diet, it, it, it defaults to the 60 grams. And so by creating this extra button, you have the option of selecting a 45 gram rather than proactively typing it in yourself. 65 grams per meal, three meals a day? 60 grams was the, yeah. Oh, 60 grams, yeah. three meals a day? Correct. Oh, yeah. And plus they're so often if, allowed snacks. If that's the diabetic diet, what is being fed to the non-diabetics? Oh, they have free range. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. is that still happening now? Have you made any improvement in those diets? Have you been able to reduce the carbohydrates per meal? Yeah, so I had, I got several of my partners on board with that mm. uh, way of prescribing the diabetic diet. Um, and, I, and I have some, some pilot data. Um, albeit not a very powerful study, of course, um, and heavily biased because it's basically um, my patients and, and a few of my partner's patients. Um, now, since, since I launched that, I have actually switched jobs, and so I'm, I'm working on um, rebuilding that, that program at, at, uh, at a new hospital. Um, although, interestingly, they already have the 45-gram diet option, uh, so that was a... Uh, like uh, a nice, a nice victory already, uh, but I've I've started talking with the nutrition department there, and uh, um, but as I'm getting more established, I I, I can can do more with it. Mm. Um, but I I personally use it, the 45 gram restriction, um, yeah. with my patients. Mm. Um, now, the other thing is, 45 grams doesn't sound like a significant enough carbohydrate restriction, and I agree, if I had my way, it would be much lower. The, the problem is the way the hospital menu is built, there has to be some leeway allowed for the patient to order certain things. Now, they can do cut and paste and so on. Um, and I actually wrote a post for, for Diet Doctor describing how to eat low carb in the hospital <clears throat> because there are unique challenges and basically giving the, the patient some empowering tools to, uh, to do that. Um, so, I, so I do allow, you know, basically 135 grams carbs per day, which is still not exactly low carb, but it makes a big difference compared to how they were eating before. And, and I spent a lot of time with educating the patient on yeah. how, to, how to keep doing that. I don't know about you, but um, back home where I'm from, I, I mean, I am in private practice, so it's quite um, contained and I don't get a lot of interaction with a lot of different um, doctors. Uh, but um, I am sort of few and far between. Um, and so it's not, I don't um, talk about my diet uh, you know, widely uh, with a lot of people because I find it's still very controversial. But mm -hmm. coming here um, to Low Carb Denver 2020, here I am amongst a whole lot of people who, um, you know, have embraced uh, the way of living and um, who know much more than me. And it's just, you know, it's really fascinating right. and exciting. I, I can't help but think that when other physicians see the science behind it, they, they have to adopt it. Uh, it's frustrating to me that it, low carb uh, lifestyle is not uh, prescribed or discussed more frequently in the um, medical setting, especially the the acute care where where patients are admitted with heart disease and stroke and infections all related to their uh, con uncontrolled hyperglycemia, and uh, the the diet makes a huge effect, and I I see it daily. The you know, I, especially with the electronic medical record, you're able to see a trend of, of glucoses and, and there's a profound difference mm -hmm. from when I pick up the patient on their standard diabetic 60 gram diet yeah. and I drop them even, even just to the 45 gram yeah. per meal diet, there's a marked improvement in their glucoses and it, and it sustains. Yeah. Um,